I wore deodorant on one armpit and antiperspirant on the other for one week to see what the difference really is. Antiperspirants and deodorants are very different, but most of us don't really know why. The problem starts right on shelf. It's very difficult to see which products are antiperspirants and which are deodorants, unless you look closely. In one way, this is understandable. Both of these products will stop armpit odor, but only antiperspirants will stop sweat. To see if this holds true in practice, I'm going to wear an antiperspirant under my right armpit and a deodorant under my left armpit for one week, and we'll see how I look and smell when I'm done. So where does the difference between antiperspirants and deodorants come from? To understand, we need to start with what underarm sweating is all about. Our armpits make Ekrin sweat, the usual watery substance we get all over our bodies. But they uniquely also make an oily substance known as apocrine sweat. Both types of sweat are odorless, but apocrine sweat contains complex molecules that can be broken down into smelly molecules. Also uniquely in our armpits, unlike the rest of our body, the sweat is trapped and can't easily evaporate. So when we get stressed or nervous or excited and we begin to sweat, that sweat just keeps staying there, keeps building up until we can see it on our shirt. Because of this combination of a very wet environment and unique apocrine sweat, bacteria can absolutely proliferate in our armpits, digest the apocrine sweat, and release some pretty nasty smells. Deodorants use a lot of methods to fight this odor, but there are four common approaches. First, and most commonly, some deodorants use fragrance to either mask the odor or to even blend pleasantly with it so that the resulting smell isn't so bad. Second, and also quite commonly, some deodorants try to kill the smelly bacteria in a variety of different ways. A lot of deodorants are simply antibacterial. Third, there are deodorants that use molecules that actually capture the smelly molecules and neutralize the smell in that way. And fourth, there are deodorants that try to interfere with the bacterial metabolism, basically preventing them from breaking down apocrine sweat into these smelly molecules without actually killing the bacteria. So since deodorants were invented over a century ago, these four methods and a few less common ones have been tried and tested and perfected to stop that stink. Antiperspirants, on the other hand, are much simpler, mostly because the FDA recognizes and mandates only one way that they're allowed to stop the sweat, through the use of aluminum salts. These aluminum salts form little plugs in those Ekrin watery sweat glands. So they prevent your armpits from getting wet and dry armpits means less bacteria, means less smell. So antiperspirants do stop odor as well. All antiperspirants are also deodorants, but only antiperspirants stop the sweat. So let's see how that works out in my case. We're here in the Carpe offices and we are done with the experiment. And while the antiperspirant armpit obviously stayed dry all week and the deodorant armpit stayed wet, what surprised me was that one of them smelled a lot better than the other. To find out which it was, I brought the shirt that I wore yesterday here to the office so that the folks here can give it a smell. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, I got, got a whiff there that time. I can't, I, I think it's the, this one, it's, it's left side. Can you smell anything on the right side? I, I really could not get anything out of that. Yeah, nothing. Kind of smells fruity. <laughs> it's ripples. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit better. <laughs> oh yeah, this one. This one's a lot worse. This one smells bad. Yeah, that one actually smells good. The other one. Awesome. All right, I hit a spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On which one? <laughs> This one right here. On the I left one. Spot. You hit the spot. Sorry, you hit I the spot. Yeah. Bad gag reflex. Sorry. <laughs> Andy, are you are you ready to regret coming to the office again? <laughs> Why do we always do this? <laughs> um, I think it's this one. All right, the left armpit. Oh god. Yeah. Sweaty. Definitely the left one. All right, so the results are in and we now know two things. One is why fewer and fewer people come to the office each day. And two is that the deodorant in the left armpit was uniformly agreed to have a worse smell 
than the antiperspirant in the right armpit. So why is that? Well, it turns out that antiperspirants not only stop the sweat, preventing bacteria from growing there and making you smelly, but they also directly kill some of these bacteria. What actually surprised me the most this week is that when this weekend I went out of town, I only remembered to bring the deodorant. And so for two days, I applied deodorant to my left armpit and nothing to my right armpit. And at the end of those days, my left armpit still smelled worse. This is because it actually takes a few days for antiperspirant to really ramp up and start stopping the sweat. And it takes a few days for it to ramp down. It can actually take up to four weeks of using an antiperspirant before it reaches its maximum efficacy. And if you stop wearing it after that, it's gonna take a similar amount of time for the sweating to fully return. So after this little experiment, I am definitely gonna stick with antiperspirants because I'm a sweaty guy and that can sometimes make me a smelly guy too. But everyone is different. So let me know in the comments what works best for you. Until next time, stay dry.